candle burns at both ends. It will not last the night. But ah, my foes, and oh, my friends, it gives a lovely light. To keep doing daily videos on YouTube, I need to raise my Patreon and Subscribestar income to a grand total of $200 a month. So if you're so inclined, help a chap out. Zang. Hello lovelies. Because you're lovely, many of you have asked after me. Um, I was sick for a bit, was it last week or the week before, maybe a bit of both, and then okay, but then it came back. I don't know whether it's the Rona or, or not. I had a temperature for short periods, I had a very sore throat, uh, and that's still coming and going. And I just basically slept the entire long weekend, pretty much. I'm still having a hard time staying awake. But I hope to be back on normal schedule and running Dragon Warriors again on Grimstreams, my other channel, starting on, again on Thursday. I don't want to rush back into things like I did last time and tire myself out or or bring it back for a, for a third go, <laughs> whatever sickness this was. So Thursday, 7.30pm UK, Dragon Warriors on Grimstreams. Uh, what else is going on? Um, oh, the appeal for Patreon that I did. Um, it's just a few dollars short. I think it's three, four dollars short. If I take it as red, I'm going to get 20 bucks a month uh, from YouTube, which is optimistic but doable. And if I add what I've got now from Patreon and from Subscribestar, that almost gets me to that $200 a month to justify a video a day. Uh, so that's where that is, but I'll leave the Patreon begging <laughs> in rotation on my advertising until we get over that 200 but it would be churlish of me to step it down to four videos a week uh, for, for one of three or four bucks, so, you know. Uh, let's let's leave that there for now. Um, of course, as it as if when it gets higher, uh, I'll, I'll do more stuff, not just videos, but other, other things for patrons. Speaking of which, um, I've finally broken proper ground on a project primarily for D and D, uh, which is Whitechester, which is just a sort of provi provisional name. So this is a this is a city sort of set in 17th century Britain um, in which there has been an outbreak of the undead uh, which has been solved by walling the city in and setting up a whole bunch of guards around the outside and, and shooting anything uh, <laughs> that tries to get free. So sort of uh, post post Civil War Britain. Um, sort of Defoe 666, which annoyingly stole my idea many years ago, or uh, Solomon Kane. You know, these are the sorts of influences that we're talking about. So it's going to be an entire early modern British city, detailed, uh, and then screwed up by Apocalypse, um, which will use the grim dark rules, which I'm which I've outlined and I'm now refining for 5th edition. I'm going to crowdfund it once I've got the majority of it written um, and a lot more of the art done to try and cover the costs and to cover expansions or additions that I might want to want to create to go along with it. Um, so watch out for that, but don't expect it anytime soon. This is a lot of work, a lot of historical research. I'm going to build this this city up as if it was a was a real one. I'm going to give it its history, its its background. I'm going to detail every street, every house, every church, every laboratory, the cathedral. Uh, every single part of it is going to be detailed. So it's going to be like a a city crawl. And if I can raise enough money, I'll do additions and versions. Uh, for Lamentations of the Flame Princess, probably. Um, I'm checking into the rights for a couple of other things that I might want to do sort of sort of plug-in versions for. 
Uh, and it will go along with these grim dark rules, which I'm hoping to get out in reasonably short order, as it's a sort of precursor to this. Uh, but I want to get most of it done uh, before I actually crowdfund, and the crowdfunding will primarily go towards artwork and cartography. Or at least that's that's the plan, and then any excess will go towards creating more versions of the statistic blocks and maybe some handouts, you know, things like that. And might even take the time to build a mock-up of the city in Minecraft or something, just so that people can see it and explore it and um, and get a get a feel for the place uh, if if I get enough time. So yeah, I'd better go and get on with that, I suppose. Uh, yeah, so Dragon Warriors Thursday, um, no more than six players. But if you want to sign up, I've got a Facebook group. Um, leave a message, whatever, and I'll, I'll drop a link to that. But <coughs> excuse me, to that below. Uh, and other than that, I'll be I'll be beavering away on Whitechester, which is just a provisional name for now. I might stick with it. I don't know. I haven't hadn't decided. Uh, but one of the things I'm going to do for my patrons from now on is give them patron exclusive updates as I as I work on that. So if you want more information or insights or whatever, sign up for a buck a month, Patreon or Subscribe Star. You get discounts, you get access to me, you can suggest videos, topics, whatever else. You can get my help with your own games and campaigns. You know, I, I try to be useful, and uh, people don't uh, <laughs> don't make enough use of me. So we'll see. Dragon Warriors, Thursday. Zang. In his house in Rulia, Great Cthulhu lies dreaming, and when he awakens, he shall have the morning wood of Aeons. Call of Cthentical is a deeply pornographic card game. Enjoy your tentacles.